This small project is a device for testing the ability of a flame to conduct electricity due to gas ionization. It can be the flame from a lighter, a match. The source of the flame does not have to be a good conductor of electricity. The device holds its input signal on even if the flame is removed. In order to reset it, you just press this simple switch made from a paper clip. The equipment for this demo requires a source of DC voltage. You may use a couple of 9 volt batteries in series, or 12 1 1.5 volt cells also in series. A 12 volt relay. The one I use is a 4 pole type. Even though a single pole is sufficient in this case, it must be normally open. An indicating device, which can be a normal 110 volt light bulb, maybe a water pump to put out the fire, an automatic phone dialer, an audible alarm, etc. Two transistors, one of them PMP type and the other an NPN type. The PMP transistor is a 2N3906. The NPN transistor is a 2N2222. We also require a small 5.6 kilo ohm resistor, a half watt. This resistor determines the sensitivity of the circuit. Both transistors make up a clamping circuit, triggered by the flame conducting electricity, thus applying a negative voltage to the base of the PMP transistor, making it conduct through the base emitter junction of the NPN transistor, which forces this other transistor to conduct, doing so through the base emitter junction of the PMP transistor, so they clamp each other. Once the circuit is triggered, it remains on and thus the indicating device will stay on until the base is touched to the emitter of the PMP transistor, turning off both transistors. This is done with this paper clip acting as a reset switch. If the relay is not brand new, you should check first if the coil is a 12 volt DC coil and if the contacts are not pitted, since this impairs the dependability of the demo. I am using a board and nails instead of a breadboard, since it is clearer on a bigger size. Besides, not everybody has a breadboard at home. This is the schematic diagram. The 5.6 kilo ohm resistor is to prevent a small leak in one of the transistors from accidentally triggering the clamping circuit. Thanks for watching. I hope this demo has been useful. Please subscribe to my channel. That is very helpful for me.